The story of our family all started in the summer of 2006, the summer I fell deeply in love with your mother. I had just finished flight school and was basically living in my geo tracker I named Bill. My life was carefree. I spent a lot of time in the outdoors with little certainty about where the tracks would lead me. I was happy to be back to Minnesota and my friends, closer than ever with Brad, and never missed a catfish tournament on the St. Croix River with Tony. It's pretty strange sometimes how life can bring you full circle. The story of your mom and I began one random evening over a spontaneous poker game. We started out as good friends, but little did we know what was just over the horizon. It wasn't long before your mom and I fell madly in love. She was beautiful, smart, funny, and always up for adventure. One of our first trips together was to Duluth. Some people were confused at first about us, but we knew the truth was that we were truly in love, and we believe that truth is non-judgmental. Your mom was a teacher and had summers off. I didn't really have a job yet, so we got up every day, got ready, and headed out together. It didn't matter where we were off to, as long as it was together. Mom had a co-worker named Gwen, who also had the summer off. We became very good friends with Gwen, and the three of us were inseparable. We were the three amigos. I was very close with Brad though, and it wasn't long before Mom met Brad. We spent a lot of time in the Brainerd and Gull Lake area and at Zorba's, and Mom snuck me into Mitch's bar at Grandma and Grandpa's cabin on South Long Lake. Mom had amazing people in her life too, Charisse, Gretchen, and Denise. As fall began, I headed south to Memphis. I had interviewed and been hired at Pinnacle and began my training on the CRJ-200 regional jet. I lived for a few months in a hotel near the Memphis airport. It was lonely being away from mom, but she flew down to visit me in Memphis. She even got to visit our hangar and sit inside my new jet. It was tough when she left to fly home, but she took a piece of me with her, and we were so close, despite the distance. By winter, Ryan, my sim partner, and I had finished our training and were stationed on reserve in Detroit, my new temporary home until the end of 2006. Thank you.